All right, so this is part two of the level five floor routine. Again, very few changes. I will do lefty and righty to the best of my ability for these changes. So we have just finished the punch run tuck. Okay, I'm gonna do lefty first, just to go over the, the chain or the normal things that you will not have to change. So you finish the front tuck and you have plie out to finish. You then have a curtsy, I believe the arm path is here, but we'll have to confirm that with Weber. You have the curtsy that's showing the roundness in the back. Step together, back extension roll. In level four, you would step out of the back extension roll and drop down to a, knee, a half kneeling position. In level five, you will do a handstand and you will press down into a tuck position. I'm going to attempt this sheerly for your entertainment. That's the only reason I'm doing this, so, is so that you can laugh at me. Okay. Oh, that was rocking. I did super good. Okay, under pressure. All right, so as you come to kneeling, you're going to come to crown. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a righty or a lefty, whichever leg you are lifting up, you're coming down diagonally to low. So I'm gonna show you that again. As you sit on your tush, arms in crown. As you bring your gymnastics leg up, turned out, arms come to diagonal low. As you deep lunge, they come forward up to diagonal high, slide out into split. I'm super not doing that. Slide out into split to side middle. And the same laying down, oh my hip. The same laying down that you would do for the double stag, okay? I will reverse that, it does not make a difference. If you come down to low as you're sitting down, now I'm doing righty. You are still coming sideward, downward to diagonal low, swooping to forward middle, coming out to side middle. They are trying to torture us. And then as you slide up, you, wait, I messed that up, hold on. It's because my kids. Crown, down, forward, upward, slide out to side middle. And do this thing, I can't do it. Double stag back to the same position that you used to be in. Okay, next change, I'm gonna do it lefty first. So you're in this position, lefties will have the left arm in front, the right arm up high. Something that we often mess in this routine is that as you sit up, this arm, your gymnastics arm, so righties would be this arm, their right arm, you're supposed to pull to side, uh, down, diagonal, low, okay? So as I come up, I'm supposed to be doing this with my gymnastics arm. So lefties, left arm comes to low, left arm comes to low, and right arm comes up. Now, in level four, it was just straight up, okay? And it makes, when it goes in fast motion, it makes this, kind of crossing action from front to here, okay? In level five, you have a forearm circle. So the way that I teach this is I ask you to put your arm palm up, okay? For lefties, it is your right arm that comes palm up. For righties, it is your left arm comes palm up, okay? It is a forearm circle, it is not a wrist circle. So we are not bending the wrist forward. We are, not, we are not bending the wrist forward and then moving our arm like this, okay? We are keeping the wrist straight as though there's a pencil on either side. And we are circling towards our face. So I always say, take a pancake, Put it in your mouth. Now, if you continue to keep your wrist straight, you're gonna hit yourself in the face. Side view, hit yourself in the face. I know if I ignore them, they're gonna go away. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to move your elbow out of the way a little bit so that you can complete the forearm circle. 
The forearm circle is as though there is a Ferris wheel going this way. Okay, so forearm circle, lift palm up, circle this way, move your elbow out of the way so you don't hit yourself in the face. Okay, if you don't move your elbow out of the way, you're going to feel like you have to bend your wrist, okay? And this isn't good unless you have a puppet on your hand and you're having a conversation with yourself, which sometimes happens if you have a puppet. So, palm, circle, move the elbow to diagonal high, okay? Now, can you please go, go sit on the chair, please. Five, four, three, two. Thank you. Okay, back to, um, now we're gonna do, do you think I have to cut because this video is too long? Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay, so we're gonna go back over that for lefties and then we're gonna go over it for righties, okay. Lefties, we're, I'm just gonna go from here so you guys don't have to witness that split absurdity again. Lefties, your left arm is in the front, okay? You're coming up, this hand is diagonal low, this one is coming up, palm up, and you have the forearm circle before you continue the circle to close. Righties, you'll be here as you're stepping forward. This arm is coming down and this one is palm up to diagonal high before you complete the circle, getting ready for your sasone. And 